welcome back for another video. Uh, the video this week uh, is for on, on the ICOM 7800. Uh, last week I did the IC9100, uh, so I thought I'd give you a quick glimpse of uh, the ICOM 7700. Uh, what can I say about this radio? Um, 2007 it came out and uh, I, th I think it uh, precursed the ICOM 7800, which was dual VFR. This is just a single VFR. And um, same build quality as the ICOM 7800 and the 7851 uh, for that matter. Aluminium uh, knobs on it, you know, so everything's quality made. It's, it, the, the, the VFR is heavily weighted. Um, a very, very nice feel to it. You've got... Uh, Obviously, the ball bearing in in the uh, the finger hole, uh, yeah, very smooth. And you've got a, a clutch on the bottom to slow the scope down. Uh, so yeah, very very uh, quality piece of kit. But it's getting long in the tooth. Two thousand and seven, uh, this came out. So uh, let's have a quick look and uh, we'll see what what this radio is about. Um, so let's go for the left hand side first. So we've first. got, so number, we've got, one, we've got number one, we've got the power switch. Um, next button down is the transmit button or the MOX button. Uh, then you've got VOX, you've got braking and your monitor button. Going down slightly, you've got your tuner button. Uh, it's got a very good tuner in this. Um, it tunes most antennas. I've, at this present moment in time, I've got a um ldg 200 pro on it but uh, yeah it's an excellent tuner then your timer button say you've got a net that's coming on etc um and you want the radio to come on uh, to remind you the net so it's got a timer button on it then you've got your microphone um jack your key jack and obviously then your mic jack um going up we've i think oh we've done with that one so this is your mic gain and this is your rf power this radio has got 200 watts of uh, power in it, and, and it can run 200 watts all day. Um, I've seen reports, well, people commenting that uh, it, it, it's built that well that they could uh, uh, stick CW down, uh, put it on 200 watts, and have the key down and come back the next day, and <laughs> it'd still be fine. It's, it's a very nice radio. Then you've got your key spear and your delay. Next, you've got your AGC and squelch, and then you've got your noise reduction and noise blanker. Uh, the outer ring is for your noise blanker, and the, 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 the inner is for your noise reduction. Let's just have a quick listen for a second. Yeah, 10's been cracking this week, hasn't it? I'm only on a vertical there, that's uh, America. 20 over so let's take this noise reduction off for a second yeah, let's get a clear band actually listen to the is I usually find about three it takes it out anyway let's turn that off I'm digressing again <laughs> noise reduction off then for the volume uh, yeah and then the inner ring is your noise blanket and as you go down you've got your AGC your noise reduction and your noise blanket button so when they're lit up you know when they're on and then you've got uh, your RF gain and uh, your volume control so going across um, we've got antenna 1 at the top this has got, the, on the back of this, it's got, uh, I'll show you a picture later on. It's got uh, four antennas, so you've got four antenna ports on it. Uh, I've, I've got antenna one because I've got it, like I said, going through a, a tune at the moment. You know, that's the antennas are on there, so I'll change on there. Then you've got your meters, you've got uh, your multifunctional meters. I like to have this one on ALC so I can see what my... Uh, uh, voice peaks are going to uh, then you've got your preamps one and two and then you've got your attenuator switch and then you've got your AGC uh, slow to high slow medium high then your compression 
that's the next switch down and then the v vsc uh, which is off at the present moment in time so let's go back down to the this these buttons here um attenuator bookmark hold fix they, they do different things these buttons when, when you're changing um, um in the menus uh so you can set and you can set your, your, your transmission for wide uh, receive and, and and so on and so forth then you've just got your, your mold buttons uh, ssb cw ritty am fm data scope uh this is your scope you can make it a bit larger turn it off long push it's back on again and then you exit setup so if you if you're going into a setup uh you, you can exit it so there's uh your modes your different modes uh so that's the menu settings let's just exit that go back to the scope oh, i need that better don't we that's better and uh as you, as you noticed on the screen as well you can put an audio scope on it so uh it, it's got all the bells and whistle on this seeing it was 2007 um i think they did uh, a firmware update uh several years ago uh, but basically this is what you're seeing on a uh a 73 under the 7610 so uh, yeah a nice little feature um let's get out of that uh exit let's get back to the scope again i'm a sucker for my scope I, I don't want to do without it yeah and the, right the bottom is the drive uh so you've got your drive your compression your mic gain your vox uh, uh vox anti-vox contrast your brightness and this is how you do your recordings um say you want to call secure you can you put x amount of macros in here or you want to record somebody uh live on um, on air uh, this is how you do the uh, the uh, recordings in memory uh, going up to the top, you've got uh, 6 metres to 160 metres and you've got general coverage and you've got frequency input. And then you've got your memory writes, memory read, your memories, uh, your VFO memories, A and B channel, uh, A and B channel. Uh, XFF, uh, your tuning uh, button, turn that off. Uh, on this side here, you've got a lock and you've got an auto tune here. Uh, that's for CW and then you've got your lock on the bottom here and on the top you've got your filters let's turn this on a second again so you've got your filter so as you can see on the screen I'm changing it but if you press and hold you, you can see what you're changing in you know you're trying to get rid of the, that, that si the signal that's close by so that's how you do that and I think this one that's back to normal. Right, just press this. Oh, 2.4 megs. Yeah, uh, KCs. Right, and the next one down is a Digicel. Uh, so basically, this is like a VC tuner on a Yaesu, but the Yaesu is a lot better, to be fair. But uh, anyway, there you go. you got your APF and your TFP, your notch button. And then you clarify it. Uh, I said before, ICOM call it Ritz. You've got your TX. You've got your sieve and then your TX and your clear. Then your speech button. Two, two, eight, one, four, one, two, so if you, 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 you're hard of... Um, uh, hit, uh, Hard of, hard of hearing, I was going to say. Yeah, if you've got uh, uh, sight impediments, it's, it's, it's a lot better for you. Sorry about that, if you're out of hearing, call the police. Uh, the next button up down is a, is a split button, so if you, you work in split, you can, that's the split button. Then you've got, like I said, passband tuning, Digicel, RIT, your controls for your clarifier, your RIT controls, and then your CW pitch. Uh, I can't believe I said that. Oh, call the police. But anyway, uh, just a quick look at... Uh, the Icom 7700. Like I said, like uh, I said let's, turn, uh, let's turn this down. Uh, a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, just change our tenors a minute. Um, it's it's a really nice radio. Um, like I said, it's an old radio now, but this is just out the speakers, by the way, in the actual radio. Any other calls that might wait?
Whiskey Zero Juliet Kilo Uniform. That's no outboard speakers, that's just the speakers from the radio. And uh, yeah, I could turn this back down again. Uh, like I said, a cracking piece of kit. Um, I have got the uh, IC7800, but that's down at the moment. I need a box so I can send it off. Um, I'll have to pull my finger out and get a box, but uh, and get that fixed. That's a nice radio as well. It's the quality of these. It's the quality of the radio. Same as the 7851. Um, I've had a quick glimpse at the 7760. Uh, I'd have preferred it if if they'd have made the radio like this. It's a big radio. It's a big chunk of radio. Uh, with the box, this is around seventy pounds. Uh, putting this on the bench is around forty-five, fifty pounds. This um, and the the Icom uh, seventy eight hundred, seventy eight fifty one, exactly the same. They're, they're around fifty pounds in weight, um, which is what, roughly twenty-five kilos. Uh, I'm a pounds uh, and feet and inches man myself, but uh, yeah, I've not got round to the uh, uh, European way of things. But anyway, I digress. So anyway, I hope you like the video. I'll send seven fees for now. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. And uh, I'll leave you with the, the back of the radio so you can see the inputs on the back of the radio. Bye-bye for now. GZODTX. Tuning in from far and wide Signals buzzing, sparks inside Voices echo through the air Catching waves from everywhere John Cody, BTX in the zone